Good Lord, remember? I was saying about wood shavings, most of the time, you're not gonna see wood shavings down underneath your house. They'll have framed it up. They'll have cleaned everything up and maybe you'll see different blocks and the guys will go ahead and do that. Is there any reason why you should see stuff like this? Look at this. Well, that's because uh, this is my, this is my educated guess. You see these things in here, right here. These and you see this that goes up. There's a hole drilled up there. It, it goes up even further. They also did the same thing here. And uh, they installed that with these bolts. And there's big old huge bolts back there. Here's the ends of them. Here, see. And. I am going to wager that after they framed this all up, the inspector came and he said, hey, you forgot your uh, earthquake proof uh, strong ties or whatever. Maybe it was on the plan. Maybe they missed it. Maybe it's something that uh, uh, was on another sheet. It wasn't on the plans. It was on another spec book or something. Who knows? Usually it's on the plans and somebody Somebody missed it, so they came back in here later, and it looks like they added, they added these because I can see right now this is a six by six post, and it looks like they added it later because see, look, it looks like they toenailed it in right there. They got a toenail here, and you look up here. Here's a toenail. There's nothing over there. This is kind of wedged in there. See this one here, right here. They toenailed it all in here and right there. And uh, they did that down here too, see? Now if they were doing this to begin with, when they framed it, they would have installed these in with the framing and uh, they, would have, they would have gotten it down here a little bit better, I think. You know, they would have had the top plate in, they would have nailed from the top down you wouldn't have had any of these toenails here. It's like they did it after the fact. And see, the, all the shavings and stuff is from them drilling. Uh, they, they notched, they notched that up, but they drilled, they drilled this up here, ran this up in here, and then uh, they bolted that. And you see this, has a prong on it like that. That should really be going down into the concrete. And uh, other other strong ties like this have have a knuckle it, it, that you push down into the concrete and you you push it down in there and then and then you frame up next to that. Well, you know, it looks like they slightly did this a different way. They probably then had to drill. Uh, holes through here and then epoxy those down because they've got we've got the same issue in some some other areas and uh, let's, let's just get the light over here you see those over there same same type of thing and see all this wood down here I've got to I've got to get this all cleaned up I'm surprised it's all down here to be honest with you this should have been all cleaned up swept up picked up before we bought this house. I see they did, looks like they did the, the same thing uh, here. And, uh, and they didn't clean any of this stuff up, did they? And so all this, all these wood shavings, I've got to clean up. Here's another one. Here's another one right here. Uh, see. Here's another one over here. That one is on the back side of that. And they should have had all of this uh, swept up. They would have drilled the holes. Looks like, see, after, after they framed everything, uh, they then came back and drilled. They could have drilled the holes and stuff before they, before they uh, framed this all up. And then they wouldn't have had all this junk all over the place. But uh, like I say, the inspector should have had them clean all this stuff up so all of this is a termite is a termite hazard this is this is all termite food right there okay all of this stuff no reason all of this should be down here so 
that's part of my job to get that and when I sweep all this stuff up I can go ahead and, and clean these cobwebs out of here at the same time you know you're gonna get cobwebs but I'm just I'll just clean that up as I'm sweeping all this but all this stuff is gonna have to be swept up all of this stuff is gonna have to be picked up yeah all, all of this you know it's gonna it's gonna kind of take me you know it's gonna take me a little bit of time but but I'll get it. I'll get it. Here's some more of those those concrete deals uh, that were stuck in the wall. But see, those are out of my those are out of my traffic pattern. And as I walk through here, that's that's why I got that's why I got these out of here, and that's why I've got these foundation bolts pooched out of here, so that when I go through here I can walk a lot better and safer and I've already cleaned up all this and see there were even some brackets that were bit that were straight up and down and they were something to, for the form boards and stuff and those were stuck up straight uh, about an inch away from here I just bent those over with my hammer because this is my path area going through here and I didn't want to trip over that and I cleaned all this stuff up move some rocks put the rocks over there in the corner clean this all up this had all kinds of of wood in it and stuff swept up all this cleaned it all up over here see that's how that's how you want your job especially underneath your house and and uh, the different places where I'm gonna walk and stuff. I'll move the rocks. See, I ended up moving some rocks over there. I moved, I, I kind of cleaned this area out because this is where I walk. And I'm always tripping through here, coming along here. So I put that stuff up there. I made this nice and nice and flat. Other than this big rock right there, that's a big one, but I've got it cleaned up around it so I know where it's at now. And then it makes it easier for me to walk through here. You know? I don't trip on these little side things. I don't get those caught on the extension cord or any of that. Cleaned all this stuff up. And that's just how I'm gonna that's just how I'm gonna do it for the whole underneath the house. Before before I get ready to do other things. And I've got I've got other things down under the house that I'm gonna work on. And anytime I come down here, I'll I'll make a video of it. Here's some I don't know what that is, but that's a potential mouse nest material and that kind of thing. But, you know, once I get ready to do anything down here else other than cleaning, I'll make a video of it and put it on my channel. Whew. I didn't think I was going to make any more of this video, but it's just some... I guess some bonus material. I've got my my phone here with the light on to see where I'm going. And another day, I guess you would say another video, right? Uh, whew, whew. I'm still I'm still in the process of cleaning. I just brought some other stuff down here. Yes, I brought my saws all down here. And extension cord, why did I bring extension cord? Don't I have enough light? Well, no, I don't have enough light. And that's why I brought my construction light back down here. I've got a bucket here and that can, that can help me carry this stuff. I put all this stuff in the bucket. That way I didn't have to come down as much. I've got a, a garbage can here. I saved that bag and I can put stuff in there. I've got my charger, my battery charger. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna plug that in right over there. And I'm going to set this, I'm going to set the battery charger right down there on that ledge and, and plug it in. That's another reason why I put this electrical outlet there for my chargers and to plug in my extension cords. And uh, what is this? Oh, here. Here's some Sawzalls. And yes, I even brought a longer one. And that's to cut out that that two by six old form board and I even brought 
my wife's spaghetti strainer, noodle strainer, whatever you want to call it, because you remember, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up really good. I've already I've already swept this all up and everything down on the ground that I see, I'm gonna pick up. And there's lots of places where there's lots of stuff down on the ground that if I if I pick it up, uh, I may have to sift it through the dirt a little bit. I don't want to have any little shavings left. And I'll show you I'll show you that after a bit why I brought that down there and why I think that's important hey don't worry I'll, I'll when I get all done with all the cleaning and stuff I'll take that back up I'll rinse it out and I'll rinse it out with soap and hot water and make it good as new okay back at it yeah